<clears throat> BB, what's up, buddies? A, ri- a wall of questions again. <laughs> uh, hey, guys, let's say you have a post. These are always such theoretical questions from BB. Um, let's say you have a post that is a long form article, which is targeted for the seed keyword, not for the long tail. Okay. The post covers all the long tail keywords inside the content, but the competition somehow ranks for those keywords and not the post. But the competition somehow ranks for the keywords and not the post. Okay, so the article is not ranking, but your competitors are. Okay, will it be okay to do a silo inside the money site, which each long tail keyword will be as a post of its own and will link to the main parent silo page and bottom level posts will link to the long form post and also to the top level post. Will the small form posts rank? Will it hurt rankings in terms of crawl budget or many posts that contain the seed keyword and there is no cornerstone title like Yoast describes it? Okay. Um, if I understand this correctly, you're saying you've got like a pillar page or a cornerstone content or whatever. Um, there's a number of terms for that, but uh, that is long form content that covers all. And that's how I, that's how I prefer to do sites now. Um, I like to, in the past, more traditional kind of silo structure was you take your top level keyword and that becomes the top of silo page. And then all of your, or a number of um, supporting keywords, which are generally longer tail keywords, each get their own separate post. And uh, then they're, you know, daisy chained or linked together with internal linking all within the same silo. And there's a number of different internal linking structures for silos. Um, But That was kind of the more the traditional method. And even for like local sites, which is what I do, local stuff, you know, we would take the top level term and then we would create supporting posts for each one of like the supporting services or the, uh, you know, the services that would support the top level service keyword, which would be like in my case, tree service, right? And there's tree trimming and tree removal and stump grinding and storm clearing and bush hogging or brush removal, like just, just a number of these different types of services. Each one would get their own kind of separate, unique um, post and they would be link up together and link interlink together to link up to the top level page. And that's more of a traditional silo still works. Um, I prefer to do everything in in the way that I've been building sites lately, um, for tree service stuff is doing it all on one page, like one page sites. When I say one page, there's other pages like the contact page, about page, privacy terms of service. Those those are, I'm talking about like the content There's one page and it's all done on the, either the homepage or a services page now. Uh, And then the services page lists all of those keywords that would have been siloed previously, but they're now all on one page with H2 headings uh, and a table of contents plugin at the top. So it's long form content. That's how I prefer to do it in more. And and I'm getting to a point here, BB, um, because in some cases, that's not enough to rank. Um, You know, if it's a more competitive location, then just having that long form page is sometimes not enough to rank most of the time as it is because I can usually accomplish the ranking through off page work, but you know, so link building essentially. Um, But sometimes it's not in some competitive areas, it it requires some additional internal linking. So some additional content, in which case that's what I talk about with like the content mirroring method, (laughs) very similar to what you're talking about, BB, which is I take that long form content in each section, each H2 section, which has got a jump link and a table of contents plugin at the top. I summarize that H2 section and it becomes a Google business post or and it could become a separate blog post where a separate blog post would be more you know, fleshed out, a more f- fleshed out version of that H2 section of the long form landing page. Does that make sense? So in other words, you can add more context, more detail to a, a, a supporting blog post what I would recommend and what I typically do at that point would that be, that post, the supporting post is now published in that same category, right? As the top of service page or top of silo page, um, you, you have a category for that. So that, that becomes a supporting article within that silo. And then I would link from within that, si- that, that supporting article, which would be optimized for a specific service or H2 section of that long form page. And it would link to the top of silo page, but more specifically to the jump link, the table of contents or the anchor link is another term for it, right? Uh, from the table of contents. So essentially that the internal link links to the top of silo page, but specifically to that H2 section, it's relevant, right? To see the relevance there because it's linking directly to that section that is 
you know, a, a summarized or a shorter version of what the blog post is about, right? And then for each subsequent blog post, you do the same thing. And you can link from one post to the previous, like, so the new post, you link to the previous post. So the first post, supporting post one, supporting post two links to supporting post one, but also links to the top of silo page or more specifically to that jump link or anchor link at, for that H2 section heading. That makes sense. And again, it's just you daisy chain all this stuff together and you can link back up to the top of silo page and you can close the loop to create like a link wheel as well from the last post. Um, and uh, you know, and that's, that's just a great way to do it. it. It's very, very powerful. Again, very similar to the strategy that I talked about in the, the content mirroring method. Uh, we gave that away for three days from Black Friday to Cyber Monday last year. After that, we shut it down. Mastermind members have access to that at any time. Um, but it's very, very powerful strategy. In fact, we just did a um, press advantage uh, bonus webinar on Monday. Um, I hosted that and I, we, we talked about that too, because press releases, I use press releases in a content mirroring strategy where we silo them together in very much the same fashion that I just described answering your question, Bibi. Um, so hopefully that makes sense. Um, I don't know about the whole crawl budget thing. I knew, I guess, John Mueller or whatever, somebody just published a, an article about crawl budgets and things like that. I didn't even read it yet. Um, I, I don't worry about that. If it's, if it's, you know, if you're publishing posts, um, they'll get crawled, especially if you've got everything connected to search console, if you got a site maps, you publish a post, it's going to get crawled. Uh, if you want to force it, go to search console, inspect URL, put the post URL in there, tell it, um, crawl the page, um, and then submit it for indexing. You can do that. By the way, rank math has a instant indexer plugin that connects directly to the API. You don't have to use rank math plugin. Apparently you're using Yoast, which I would say run the fuck away from Yoast. <laughs> I mean that with all sincerity, don't use Yoast. Use a, use a better plugin than Yoast. Yoast puts a bunch of bloat code in the site and all that other stuff. I don't like Yoast. I haven't liked it for many, many years, um, but you don't need, um, what I'm saying is rank math is a better plugin by the way, but um, you can use a standalone rank math instant indexing plugin for your site, which connects to the Google indexing API. And so every time you publish a post, it automatically sends it to Google for indexing. So that's something else that you could do. Um, so I don't worry about crawl budgets and all that other kind of stuff um, when it comes to that. So hopefully that makes sense. Again, if you don't know what I'm talking about, when I say the content mirroring method, we did training on it, um, which was available. Most, a lot of people got it in our audience. Not everybody did, but um, I've talked about that in many, many different formats. So very powerful content, Mary. 